Hi everyone, this is Mare from Lavi and Rose Plans, and I am coming to you today with my first official feeling haul. <laughs> I realized that I had enough packages coming in around the same time um, from Black Friday to do a longer form haul. So happy new year, happy 2023. I hope you're all doing really well, relaxing, partying, um, and here we are. <laughs> um, so we've got Paper Trail Plans, Miss and Meow, um, Panda Bird Design, and we also have the Pretty Pinko, and uh, the Sadie Stickers December Mystery, which is so good. And we also have a Ray and Tay order. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is unedited, um, but I just thought I would have some fun and give you a another haul video of some format to enjoy this new year. So let's do it. Let's do what is already opened <laughs> first because I was excited. Um, so let's do, um, let's do Panda Bird design first. First of all, how gorgeous is this like journaling card? Are you serious? I love using journaling cards in my planner just decoratively in my Aura Estelle cloud. So I'm really excited to um, maybe even put this in for winter. I always go back and forth. Do I want to decorate for winter? Do I want to keep things clean and fresh for the new year? But yeah, this is really, really pretty. Of course, you could save this for Christmas. I just love this. I think the colors are really beautiful. And here we go. We have some washi strips. We also have boxes. I think that's pretty much what I purchased this time from Panda Bird Design. So um, we're excited about that. I love this freebie. How pretty is this in silver? I love these for layering any of these for layering really, but how gorgeous are these um, designs? Love that, that's really pretty. So let's do the boxes first. I pretty much for the new year stocked up on boxes I've had my eye on for a while um, and was kind of saving for Black Friday. Um, I love, I haven't used any of these lace boxes from the Gathered Plans and Panver Design collaboration. Um, I'm so sorry if my light is like fluctuating <laughs> between, um, different tones here as I move, but you know, we'll just deal with that. Okay. So I love these. This is like my favorite design, just this shadow doily, the shadow scallops in the doily design. I think it's so like classic and goes with everything. So rose gold, light gold, love these shadow boxes and the simplicity. They remind me of the pretty pinko boxes, but obviously a little different and unique. So really excited for these. I love basics like this to kind of keep things fresh. Also really excited for these, the shadow box squares, because obviously I've been seeing everyone using these and I'm hopping on the bandwagon. So there we go, really excited for all of these boxes to add to spreads. And then for the more fun part, we have transparent washi strips. Um, I, these were all so cute. Oh my gosh. So I picked like two. <laughs> and let's get organized here. I think, let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm realizing I didn't get every single foil color for every single one because I was like, Mare, just pick your favorites. So that's what I did. <laughs> okay. Let's put these here for right now. Let's see. I believe... I got the, what are these? These are the winter scallops with the snowflakes. Look at that. That's so pretty. We have light gold and silver. And then I also got the winter garland doilies in silver because I use a lot of silver in winter. Don't we all? And then in rose gold. I think my thinking is that I would get silver in both 
and then pick either rose gold or light gold for each design and for whatever reason I thought these in rose gold would look so pretty and I was right <laughs> I love I used like the fall version of this design and I loved it so I love these dainty snowflakes I feel like this is the dainty uh, design between the two and then this is a little bit more like bold but still dainty love that so that is panda bird design oh just kidding I forgot I set these aside love these layer trims so this is the winter layer trim I'm imagining these above the date cover section because I think that line would fit perfectly there or in the washi section of course but we have light gold, rose gold, and silver. So pretty. I love snowflakes. I live in Northern California, so I live not in the snow, but near the snow. And so I get really excited about snowflakes regardless, because I can always go visit the snow. So here we go. This is all from Panda Bird Design. Beautiful. And let's do Pretty Pinko next. So again, kind of stocking up on basics and a couple of fun things from a $2 Tuesday order. These freebies are so pretty. This was for Black Friday. I love the mountains. Are you kidding? That's so good. Also, these leaves definitely will be put to good use. And then a shop freebie in silver. I stocked up on trims, not trims, borders from the Pretty Pinko and Sadie stickers in a couple different snowflake designs. So really excited to uh, kind of move on to winter. I still have a couple Christmas spreads, but hey. I purchased these stamps from this $2 Tuesday and I really like these a lot. I think they're so simple but they're gonna add that detail, yeah. So we have light gold and silver. Also for Christmas spreads, because I feel like you see a lot of like postage, um, like details in Christmas kits, of course, for Santa. And rose gold. So very cute. And then I also purchased, let's grab both of these. I'm really excited to pull in these torn strips. So I have this size and then I have the washi size with this really beautiful dainty font. I love reading, I love books, I love anything to do with pen and ink. Um, and so I'm really excited to pull these in. I f they just feel very like romantic to me. So I'm really excited about that for February especially. I have a couple kits. Um, that I want to pull these into for February, really any time of year, but for some reason, February. This feels like a February vibe to me. So love those a lot. I think I also purchased these in black as well, just to layer under something foiled. So we've got options, right? And next, everyone's favorite mini box or a favorite for sure so we've got a mini box i'm so sorry if my light is like changing between <laughs> like warm and cool toned but it's probably just reacting to the foil love those and then my favorite dainty dividers ever i'm also realizing do we see how in the regular divider it's like the same size dot and in the washi version, we have different dots. Has it always been this way? And I just didn't realize, or did I pick up a different style? Either way, stunning all around. Love that. So that is the Pretty Pink Co. A little bit of fun, a little bit of basics. Excited for that. Let's do... Let's do paper trail plans next. I didn't open this because don't we all love looking at packaging? 
Isn't that what we're really here for? <laughs> Love that. This was another shop that I picked up basics from because I've had my eye on them. Um, and I'm a little bit late to the party. Also, this washi, how cute is that? I definitely wrapped a couple of Christmas packages with washi tape because I ran out of regular tape. I've been wanting these foiled boxes for a minute and I'm really excited for this sampler. This is so good. I love this. Love their lace. So obviously got all the foil colors, gold and silver and rose gold beautiful i'm really this is like such a good size sampler because i don't pull in tons of white boxes and spreads but i definitely pull in enough so i feel like this is a really good size for that love that also we have a generous freebie i love that this is a really cool design this is perfect love that okay so we have circles i'm really excited to have something that's not a box I'm really excited about circles in all the foil colors and then we have a square box kind of for the same reason like instead of a rectangle let's do a square so i'm really excited for that and then I really um, am excited for these as well, the mini box sampler. I love samplers, I'm realizing, because I don't, I don't like when my like collection is too big. <laughs> it gives me a little bit of anxiety, so I love samplers. I think this is really, really great. So we're stocking up on simple, basic um, white boxes to add in and layer. I feel like it's such a simple thing to add to your spread, but it keeps planning fun, you know, even though there's so much in kits these days. So really excited about this from Paper Trail Plans. Small little order, just stocking up on basics. And then we have a pretty, a fairly thick order from Miss and Meow. I think this has three kits in it plus some icons, which I'm excited for because I love Regina's icons. Oh my word. You guys, these are so pretty. I pretty much have a kit now for January, February, and March from Miss and Meow. So really excited about that. Okay, let me take this out of the plastic so we can see it, right? <laughs> I love this kit so much. I'm so excited that I got it in rose gold. This freebie, oh my gosh, you guys, you're set. You're set with that, look at that. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Oh, in silver foil. Wow. That is so generous. So beautiful. This is really pretty. I believe that both of these are in silver foil as well. So pretty. Okay, what do we have here? This is the Glisten Kit in rose gold. This is so pretty. When I saw this and the color palette, I was like, yes, this is my ideal winter color palette. Frosty. I love how this feels frosty and warm at the same time. So you kind of get the best of both worlds with a winter kit. This full box, this like kind of double box scene is the cutest thing ever. 
I adore this sunset or sunrise. Kind of looks like a sunrise to me. That's so pretty. I love this box with the bird and the teacup. The florals in here as well. This is so pretty. Love this with the pink and blue and cream. This whole section here makes me so happy <laughs> for layering. Love that. I think the rose gold was a really pretty choice. This would be really pretty in silver as well. But love that. So good. Love the cream. Love everything about it. Really, really pretty. Okay, and I'm guessing this is the journaling pages. I just love the florals. Like, I love how watercolor they are, the socks. Oh my gosh, I love this. That's so good. That's so pretty. And then, let's see. That's the full box page. I'm all kebobbled. <laughs> I love this journaling. Yeah, I love this. I think so far she has one of my favorite decorative. This is the decorative kid page. Page one. She has one of my favorites for sure. And there we go. Oh, and we have the florals as well. Feels so disorganized, but it's okay. Love the sweater. Love the lantern. I also love lanterns. That's a thing with me as well. Love lanterns. Yeah, this color palette is so, so good. The color palette's amazing. The textures are amazing. This Meow is a favorite of mine for sure. So there is the first kit I purchased from Miss and Meow. And then this is the second one. This is probably going to be my Valentine's kit. You guys, there's the script torn paper. I love this. This is so good. I think what sold this for me was, I mean, everything, <laughs> everything about it, quite truly. I love this typewriter and the teacup. Like this is so, as someone who is literally creative for a living, um, I just really appreciate anything that's like artsy and soft and romantic. I love, this is what sold it for me too, was this piano with the like sheet music and the music notes because that looks like my office. <laughs> I just love this. So this is in rose gold as well. But how beautiful. I love the colors. We have like light pink and then sort of a pale gray green and then this nude. And I really love this wine color. I like how it's a really pretty like berry tone. Love it. Love the simple scallop. <gasps> Washy. <laughs> do you guys ever gasp when you're opening your Happy Mail? Because I do. <laughs> Love these peonies. Are you serious? That is so good. And here we go. Let's see if I can keep all of this facing the way that it should be. Possibly. Okay, here we go. Decorative page. See, and this is what I'm talking about. So like this is a printed uh, font. It's not foiled. So you could layer the foil underneath. Whereas something like if this was foiled, you could layer the black font underneath. So good. I really like this shape a lot. If you use Miss and Meow kits, which doesn't everyone. I love that one. And this page. <laughs> I love this so much. Again, the typewriter, this chair, and just the color palette. I love how we have this like wine color 
but then we also have peaches and creams and pinks. So good, so, so good. And I believe we also have the florals here. I love the teddy bear. <laughs> I love how this feels artsy and romantic and a little cute. Like this is a little cute C, you could say, but in a really sweet way. Yeah, so that is the February uh, collection from Miss and Meow. So good. Most likely going to be my Valentine um, spread, my Valentine week spread this year. And then we have one final um, kit. This is the March collection. And... I love this one as well. What kit don't I love from Regina? This is so good. I love how this is neutral, but you also have some brighter pops of color. I feel like it's the best of both worlds. So this is Spring Soleil. And I just love how fresh and sunny and warm it is. This is like what March feels like to me. Color palette. I love the brunch full box. I love the flower market slash bakery. Flowers make people happy. That is true. Flowers make me happy. Love this. This is in um, gold foil or light gold. Love the color palette on this one. I'm also filming this as the sun is setting too. So if the light is changing, apologies. Love this. Love the green and yellow and pink. I feel like this green is a very soft green. Love the yellow as well. And the pink. I love this. Oh, that's so pretty. With the little butterflies. I'm not a... Okay, so confession. Um, Mare is afraid of butterflies. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid of butterflies, but I love them in my planner. Love this color palette. I love this with the, um, little floral box. Oh, I'm sorry if you can see or hear my dog barking. If he hears voices and he's not a part of it, he starts barking. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, this is just so good. So dainty. I love how these florals feel piecey and yet full at the same time. Does that make sense? Yep. There's my doggo barking away. I think he hears the neighbors. So pretty. So those are the three kits I purchased from Miss and Meow. And then I also purchased some fun things here. I believe these are all the icons. Yes. So another thing that I stocked up on for the new year are these foil, these confetti dots, which again, I'm jumping on the bandwagon late, but I'm also trying to shop my stash and use what I have. So I have some old honey inked dots that I want to use first, and then I'm going to start pulling these in. So I purchased these dots from Miss and Meow, just the foil accent confetti dots, love the variety in those. And then we have the icons. You guys, Regina, these are so pretty if you happen to be watching this. So let's see, I don't believe that I purchased, okay, so she has different colorways, um, as you all probably know. So what I did is I purchased, because again, I was like, well, I could purchase everything, but then I would feel overwhelmed. So what I did is I purchased um, cream, the sweet cream and the blush um, colorway for each icon because these are the most versatile in my opinion the most like neutral cream and pink is a neutral right okay so we have the bed icon I love that that kind of looks like how my bed usually looks so love that and then let's see I'm just gonna grab all of these um, cooking I love these so something that I've started doing more often um, recently 
is cooking and um, I love cooking. I love, it's so therapeutic to me. Um, I've never not liked cooking. I just haven't done it as often um, and I'm doing it more often now. So I love how, ugh, I love that. I love these. <laughs> what am I saying? Okay. And then we have the makeup bag. Um, I'm also getting, I've always enjoyed makeup, but I'm getting back into it these days. So we have the makeup bag icon. So pretty. I need to clean out my makeup bag. <laughs> Maybe I'll use those for marking that. Sports bra. Because yes, we are going to start working out again in the new year. The mug. I love this mug design. Oh, and we have blush. I wonder if there's another one hiding in here somewhere. Or if I only got them in blush. And if that's true, then that's fine. Um, I have a mug that kind of looks like this actually from um, Magnolia at Target. Cute. And then we have the hamper. She has the cutest hamper in my opinion. That's so cute. Love that. We have the car. Love that. And then the grocery tote. Kind of for the same reason as I'm cooking more, I'm grocery shopping obviously more as well. I live with people and so we kind of all share this, but grocery shopping more. And then the apron. I love her apron as well. So cute. And the laptop. I like how these are facing different directions. Yes. <laughs> love that for layering. So I'm so excited about these icons. Truly. Um, Miss and Meow. Let's see. Obviously Crafts by Towie and White Deer Stationery are who I pull icons from. And I think really love how Miss and Meow and White Deer Stationery icons uh, kind of flow together. I mean, they look really cohesive together. So that is all from Miss and Meow. And let's move on to the Sadie Stickers mystery subscription. So if you have not received yours yet, if you are a subscription um, purchaser, then do not look. But here we go. You guys, this is the December mystery. This is so beautiful. Wow. So this reminds me this box and this box as well, but especially this one. Do any of you watch or have you watched When Calls the Heart on Hallmark? It's my one like Hallmark show or thing that I enjoy, but this reminds me of the first season um, when Jack and Elizabeth are out on a boat on the pond and this, I just, I'm not usually like, I love neutrals. I love this whole color palette, but I don't know if I would have gone for this if I just saw it on the website, not because it's not beautiful, but just because, you know, I only try and purchase what I need, um, instead of like over purchasing, uh, kits, but I'm so, this is what I love about the subscription service. So Every single kit I've received from the subscription is stunning. Again, this has that like soft, romantic, feminine feel. Um, I love the pearls here in the old phone. I love this mirror and like the old perfume bottle. Love that. I love the green and cream and like this taupey color. Gold foil or light gold foil. So good. Y'all, do we see this washi? It is so good. I love that she put a line and dots in here because why not have both, right? That just catches the eye in the most pleasing, like detailed way, but it's like simple still. I also love daisies. Okay, and then here we go. So we have the strips and um like the various floral strips and then here is the floral sheet i honestly this is good for me for one spread like and i'll still have a couple things left over this is such a good sheet and then here is the um journal page 
and the deco. Look at that. This is so stunning. I'm so sorry if the lighting is a little wonky, a little dim. Um, and then here we go. I love uh, this um, dot sampler that she included as the foil sampler. I literally use everything. All Like the types of things included in this, I use it all. This is so functional. And there goes my dog again. <laughs> Okay, say hi to Watson, everyone. So that is the mystery subscription um, kit. So good. I love it. And the extra, the bonus, is this beautiful pen. This is so good. It matches the kit. <laughs> um, but this just is so pretty. I think I'm just, I'm definitely going to stick this in the little... Um, pen sleeve in my Oristel just as a decorative pen. I love it. I love the white and gold. So classy. So there is the Sadie Stickers Mystery Kit um, for December. And then the last part of this haul, we are coming up on a half hour. We're actually over a half hour. Is my Rante order. So I ordered one of the minimal albums and I'm really excited to put this together. This feels um this is just such good quality. I just love these sleeves. Um, I'm definitely that person uh, who puts as much as she can in a sleeve <laughs> to um, consolidate, but I'm going to use this for icons. I am going to see, I did the math in my head when I was figuring out if I um, wanted slash needed one or two of these minimal albums, um, if I just needed one or two. Um, and I think I can get away with putting all my icons in this album. So this is going to now be four icons exclusively so that where my icons currently are in my other Ray and Tay binder um, can just be like a decorative binder. So all of my like $2 Tuesday slash regular quarter size sheet decorative stuff Um that will be in the binder where my icons also are. So now my icons will be in here and I'm really, really excited for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If I was speaking quietly, um, I'm sorry. We're just trying to keep the voice down for other people in the house, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of um, this format on Instagram. This may well have been a YouTube video, but um, yes, I just hope you guys enjoyed this little haul and happy new year. Bye everyone.